Well, hello everybody, how's it going? Tomeister here, and welcome back to Bixton in City Skylines 2. It is full-blown winter here in Bixton today. We have a quite the snowstorm happening right now. It is a crisp minus 8 degrees Celsius, so it's feeling a lot like Canada right now. Um, so in the last episode, we've gone and expanded the city a fair bit, and I'm going to continue to do so in this episode. Kind of like I alluded to in the last episode, I'm going to build a office park over here near the new Technical University campus that I just laid down. Uh, but before I get into that, I don't know why I just paused the game, but anyways. Um, before I get into that, there's a number of things that I have to fix in the city. So, uh, first of which is fire and rescue services. As you can see, coverage in the city is absolutely abysmal. Also, I thought I put a fire station over here in Auburn. I don't know where it went. Um, but anyways, I'm going to provide fire services for the whole city. So I'm going to place a fire hall right here, smack dab in the middle of the city. And also, guys, I'm not neglecting Auburn. Um, I know I, I kind of started it and I didn't touch it again for the last number of episodes. But I promise you I'll get back into the city sooner rather than later. But... For this episode, I gotta focus on over here in actual Bixton because it's uh, suffering from a number of issues right now from low or, or high rent and, uh, and, and all sorts of things. So we gotta fix those before we're able to move on from that. So the area uh, over here is quite large. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and place a fire station instead of a firehouse. So the difference is um, with a fire station, we have access to 10 fire engines versus the four from a firehouse. Uh, so let's find a suitable spot for our fire station. And oh my god, this building is quite large. So it might be a struggle to find a spot for it. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and place it over, over here. Actually, hang on. I'm going to... I'm going to plop a road right over here that goes into the office park and uh, along it is going to be the fire station. So now if I check the coverage of the entire city, you can see that it's green. And this fire station is probably gonna be sufficient for like the whole Eastern portion of the city. So with that, uh, we're pretty well covered. And there's not been a lot of fires in the city. I mean, I, I say that and there's like a huge one <laughs> happening over here. Oh my god, it's actually spreading. Oh jeez, this is not good. I say that as like a huge neighborhood is on fire. Uh, but we got fire trucks coming in. Going to Beach Street. Oh, pedestrians just casually crossing the street over here. Get out of the way, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I think I think they're in good hands. Um, anyways. So, yeah, that was issue number one, which we have resolved. Issue number two. Well, I don't really understand how this works, but if I check my budgets here... My garbage management is costing me zero. Uh, well, that is because I have no garbage management. But if I check here, I am exporting all of my garbage, which is like 1,300 tons a month, which is crazy. But I don't think it's costing me anything. I don't know where to check to see where, if this is costing anything at all. Because um, it... it I have no numerical value here that tells me what it's costing me to export all of uh, all of that garbage. But anyways, it doesn't really matter because this episode, I'm finally going to be placing at least a recycling center and maybe an incineration plant too. Probably be a good idea because I can definitely afford it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god, this building is huge. And I think the best location for this would be the industrial area, but this is the most challenging industrial area I've ever built, just because of the the steep terrain. The terrain is very unforgiving over here. It's pretty wild. 
But if I can find like a a nice flat spot, I mean, I guess I could just terraform the whole area as well. There's nothing really stopping me from doing that, so I think I might have to resort to that. But overall, this, this area is, you know, there's a little bit of a hill, but it's not too bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and place the incineration plant over here, and then I'll do a bit of terraforming as needed. So, if I plop this, oh, wow, okay. That has tipped me over the edge into the 12th milestone, granting me 3.2 million in the bank, 12 progression points, and 21 uh, extra tiles that I can purchase. And look at that, guys. We've officially reached the end game stage. I guess we can call it because all of the following milestones unlock nothing but some extra progression points and tiles and loan limits. So there we have it. Um, this actually looks not too bad. I'll just fix up the terrain a little bit in the back, but it doesn't look like it ruined an entire mountain. And to my surprise, this factory actually looks pretty cool on top of this hill. Kind of dominates the whole area. Along with the prison that looks like a hospital. <laughs> um, okay, so this is actually producing power for us, which I don't- I think power I was good. Oh, wow! Okay. I remember checking at the beginning of last episode how I was doing for power, and I was like, I was doing really well. Like, I was producing way more power than needed. Um, but that has since dropped quite a bit. So I'm happy that, uh, that I decided to place this building now because that's certainly going to help me out. Um, so actually, I'm going to do a bit of terraforming first. I think I'm just going to flatten out this back portion of the mountain just a little bit even it out I'm just gonna get rid of the the peak I guess and start off with that and then I can just smooth everything out it's as if nothing ever happened the incineration plant was meant to be here all right, so now I just gotta hook this up to the grid. I guess it would be cool to have some power lines running through here. So I am simply going to... Hook this up to the rest of the grid, just like this. And oh, we're officially winter. I just noticed the, uh, the LUT, the LUT changed uh, okay so let's check on how we're doing over here uh, we're not producing any electricity but I think we will eventually once trucks start bringing garbage in so we just have to wait for that to happen um, but in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and place a recycling center if I can get one to fit and it looks like I can okay I'm just gonna do a quick little a little uh, terraforming here and flatten out this lot. There we go. This building is not happy, but there, now it is. And I'm going to place the recycling center right here. It fits perfectly in this location. There we go. Actually, I got to be careful because if I want to place any upgrades, I'm not going to have any room. Very limited in this lot. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad. I could have, like, fit this garage here. Um... But I guess this is okay. This is okay for here. I, if I have to place a second recycling center, I can totally do so at some point. And I guess I'll fill in the gaps with some industries. Some old dirty industries. And I may as well place some offices as well. I 
Which way is... Okay, yeah, the wind is going the right direction. All right, perfect. And look at that, guys. Look at our office's demand. It is basically down to zero, which is fantastic. I like that because that means we're building enough. Um, my industrial demand, though, is pretty high. But we can fix that with some specialized industry, which I would like to get into pretty soon. All right, so, um, so we got this plant down. It's a good start. We're just gonna have to wait a little bit for it to produce any power. And I think there's actually a way to generate money with uh, both a recycling center and maybe an incineration plant. Maybe not the incineration plant, but I know for a fact the recycling center, if you recycle enough goods, you can export some of them, granting you some extra dollars. So that would be cool if, uh, if we could do that. But yeah, all right. Oh my God. What just happened over here? Oh, oh no. Oh no. What is going on over here? <laughs> oh man, look at this, guys. A major pileup. Cars are flying off of bridges. Oh my god, we got cars up here on the mountain. Oh, this is a semi truck. Holy, this is a major accident. <laughs> Cars just flying off into the other side of the road in the water. Oh my god, guys. This is unreal. Oh, what do we have over here? We No. Wow, this is brutal. Okay, well, let's see how this is cleared up. Um I gotta take a screenshot of this. This is this is just too much. Like, look at the traffic now. Look at the... Everything's just piled up into the tunnel. Oh, no. The EMTs can't get to the scene. Because of the traffic. What's gonna happen, guys? What does this mean? And there's a fire. There's two fires. What the heck? Oh. Oh, okay. Paramedics actually made their way over here. Is that? Oh, no, that's a person. She's waiting for an ambulance and she's injured. Oh, no. This is really bad, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. What's going to happen here? We've got a road maintenance vehicle responding to the scene. Oh my god, we got a vehicle on the other side of the water over here, too? An old truck. Little red truck, no longer hauling a Christmas tree. Because he's just flown off the side of the highway. Look at this, guys. This is a disaster. How... Is this even reported in... Car accident? At 123. Oh, it's 221. So yeah, all of these, all of these incidents must be related. So, unfortunately, two people died. Okay, I'm just curious to what's gonna happen here. We got another road maintenance vehicle. He's he's just kind of hanging out. But we got, I think we got some ambulances. Yeah, look at that. We got fire trucks and ambulances that can't get to the scene just because of the traffic. Oh, Kareen is happy. She's getting a new car. Oh, we got a police car involved in the accident. Oh my god, guys, this just keeps getting more and more crazy. This is insane. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> oh! Okay, well... <laughs> I guess it just, yeah, everything despawns after a while. Myth busted. Oh my god, look at the traffic now. I gotta check this out. Traffic. 
Oh, you can't see underground traffic. But look, it's backed up into the city. All of the vehicles trying to get onto the highway are just... Have nowhere to go. That was crazy, guys. A multi-car pileup in City Skylines 2. Oh my god. that That's going to be the thumbnail. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> now we got a traffic jam. Uh, okay, well... This episode has taken a turn. I've... Yeah, that, uh, everything that I expected to get into, uh, <laughs> we've been met with a bunch of curveballs. Okay, well, th there's at least one thing that can't really be affected by any outside interference. So I think once and for all, I'd love to solve the, the high rent issue. So right now, I'm just making bank. I'm making five million a month. Which is absurd. I, I, I still have no clue how I achieve this. But that being said, I can afford to lower my tax rate for residences. So I'm going to I'm gonna lower taxes for everybody in the entire city. Actually, you know what? I'm going to lower taxes for everything in the entire city. So I'm going to lower residential tax down to 7%. And commercial, industrial, and office down to 9%. Because I'm, I'm kind of afraid at this point that there's going to be a patch. And, and this is all going to go down the drain. Because I was barely scraping by before just a couple of episodes ago. So let's see what this does. Oh my god. A bunch of... There's a bunch of injuries in town. People waiting for... Uh, for hearses and ambulances. Oh my god, guys. I think I might have to place those clinics back again. Maybe there's not enough ambulances for everyone. Oh, okay. There's only five being used out of 30. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm hopeful that lowering taxes is going to... Uh, to reduce the amount of people not being able to afford rent. Oh, we got a bunch of green arrows flying up through the suburbs. So maybe these people are, are finally able to breathe a bit more. Oh, all right. It looks like our office demand is back. So I can finally get started on the office park. So let's get into that. There. So I guess this is sort of going to be the main road. And then what I'll do is this, this, there, and I'll go ahead and place some offices all along. Oh, why is this not a good place for offices, I wonder? What's wrong with this street? Oh, I guess it just took a second for it to load, but we're good now. There, so let's get some offices in here. Oh, and already my demand is lowering, so it wasn't crazy high to begin with, but just high enough so I can get started on uh, an office area. May as well include some commercial in here as well. We have some pretty high commercial demand right now. So let's get all kinds of businesses in here. Um, I'm going to try this. I'm going to have a one way. It's going to go like this and then loop around. And then let's do this. And then let's have a bunch of little offices here. This looks very office park-ish. Weird road designs and things like that. And uh, there we are. I think that's enough to get started on. We pretty much quashed all of our demand. Perfect. 
All right, so yeah, this was this was a pretty easy build. <laughs> Nothing too complicated. Oh, what's this now? Perfect timing. New signature building available. We have a princip Principis? Principis. Okay, the companies working in this modern office building not only make sure that justice is served, but their efficiency actually helps reduce the crime rate in the neighborhood. All right, so what is this? Like a, is this like a CIA type building? What is it? Oh, okay, so it reduces crime rate within half a kilometer, plus five well-being within half a kilometer, plus five interest and university education citywide. That's really good. Plus one office efficiency citywide. And oh my God, the 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 pros of this building plus one university graduation chance okay well i guess we'll place this building right smack dab in the middle of the office park shall we right between these two rows look at that fits perfectly boom look at that that is wild guys awesome So eventually we'll have a street continuing on in this direction and I suppose we can have one over here as well. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna... No, I guess I'll stop there for now. We don't have any office demand, so I'll just leave this as is for now. How are we doing on the high rent issue? High rent, well, it's still an issue. It's not really going down. Maybe I'll just reduce taxes even more down to six percent what is granting us the most money out of everything is offices wow offices make a ton of money there but by reducing residential taxes that's certainly going to help you know I, at this point if it doesn't help i don't know what else to do <laughs> because i pretty much tried everything else in the book uh, okay so what's next guys um well let's spend some of our progression points see what we got Let's see what our next step is going to be in the city. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I should probably place down some parking as well. Uh, so I got 12 points. I'm doing okay for power and water at the moment. Health Institute, uh, industrial waste processing. Oh yeah, central bank. That would be really cool. Maybe we should get like a a stock exchange kind of thing in town. Oh, actually, you know what? I think Bixton is almost almost ready for an airport. So I'm certainly going to spend the points to get an airport in here. Parks, uh, tourist attractions. That would be a good good thing to have in the city. Let's just check here. You know, I think tourist attractions, that's going to be my next purchase, spending all of my points because uh, Bixen is such a fantastic place. You know, we, we got to get some tourists in here. We got to get things rolling. That's just going to grant us even more money in the near future here. So the city is going to start to expand over in this direction. Eventually, Auburn's going to expand as well. So these farms here are going to have to move. Now, unfortunately... All of this area is very fertile, uh, but luckily a lot of other fertile lands exist on this map that are more on the outskirts of the map. So I'm just gonna relocate these farms eventually, not this episode, but what I am gonna do this episode is extract this oil from the ground. So <laughs> I remember receiving a comment of, uh, of you guys yelling that, um, I placed the train depot right on oil deposit. Uh, but luckily, there's a little bit left on the side. So I think this is a perfect location for an oil drilling site. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to place it right here, smack dab in the middle of the city. And this is, I think this is going to look pretty cool, this oil extraction site because it is right in the middle of the city but it is completely surrounded by this depot oh shoot i went a little too far 
yeah, I'll have to limit it to about right over here. But yeah, I think this is going to look pretty cool here, right in the middle of the city. So maybe if I make it about this size, I'll have it conform to the side of this road. Just like this. Bloop. And there we go. So this will pretty much look like a any other construction site, I guess. Uh, but it should make us quite a bit of income, I think. Uh, and we have some more oil extraction availability right here, so... I think I'll go ahead and place... Uh, place this building right here. There. Oh, I'm outside the zone. Oh. All right. Perfect. There we go. And I could probably just squeeze in a couple of industrial buildings in between here. Now the unfortunate thing is, by placing these buildings down here, I will be sending air pollution directly towards people. Because I was kind of planning on this area being like all suburbs. Uh, but I don't think pollution is going to be too much of a problem. If I check here, air pollution is not too bad. Ground pollution, a little bit over here by the dairy house. Nothing too crazy. I think this building is eventually going to move anyway. Uh, but for now, this is fine. Nice. So these oil extraction buildings are certainly going to grant us some additional funds. Oh, I got another fire over here. I'm glad I put this fire station down. Whew, because things would not be going so well. <sighs> it looks like rent is still a problem. What about crime? Is crime high in the city? Oh, yeah, crime is pretty high here. Ooh. Oh my god, yeah, it is. It is pretty high all over, especially in downtown. I think downtown is ready for a police headquarters, guys. Yeah. I think it's ready. So, oh my god, this building is massive. Wow, it's going to take up like two blocks. But, you know what? I got no choice. Crime is getting higher in the city. I need to increase my crime fighting budget. If I can find a spot to place the police station, police headquarters rather. Hmm, I really don't know. Maybe I might be forced to, to destroy like an entire block. Maybe I'll place it like, oh, I can't even fit it there. If I fit it here, shouldn't be too bad. I think I, I think that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna remove this street, unfortunately. So all of these houses will be demolished. Uh, here to make way for a brand new police headquarters. So. This is the first time I'm placing this building. I have no idea what it looks like. But it looks pretty cool. So, arrested criminals. We can get up to 100. 60 employees. All right. What kind of upgrades can we do here? More jail cells. Okay. Garage extension for more vehicles and a helipad. All right. Very nice indeed. I'm glad I wasn't uh, forced to destroy these buildings. But yeah, this, uh, this building actually looks nice over here and just like that we have a whole squad of cars 
deploying. I probably had a shortage of police officers because I just had little tiny police stations everywhere. Yeah, look at that. I just had six cars. Not very much. So that's probably why crime was, was pretty high. Actually, you know what I could have done? I could have just plopped that extension. Doubling the amount of police cars. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. It'll just uh, future-proof me for a little while. High school's doing good. Oh my god, elementary schools are full. Colleges are full. University is full. You know, Auburn is just doing fantastic. Rent is a little high in some areas, but... Overall, it's doing all right. Oh, and as it turns out, crime was actually very high in the city. Uh, minus four, which is the biggest factor of unhappiness. But given enough time, uh, I think crime is going to be greatly reduced now that we've more than doubled our police force. So, yeah, look at that. We got a whole convoy of patrol cars going out here. And uh, even in downtown, I think crime rates should drop in a lot of these buildings you know lots of uh, insurance fraud maybe going on over here <laughs> there um okay well this episode has turned out to be very uh very generic i feel i, I didn't focus on one particular thing um oh all right well telecom services are kind of struggling all right well that's not a problem because last episode I invested in some telecom services. I'm going to place a telecom tower which has a massive range. And uh, I think I think the smartest thing to do would be to replace this little tower that we have right here. Um, so I'm going to send this road a little bit higher up on the hill. I think the peak looks to be somewhere around here. So maybe if I just continue it along straight ahead here. And this uh, this big hill, by the way, guys, is eventually going to become a park. So I'm not there yet. I think I'm going to wait until the spring because landscaping and stuff in the middle of winter is, is not really ideal. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hold off on that for a bit. So there we go, we got a massive tower right here on the hill, but even that tower alone hasn't really, really helped us too, too much. I'm going to be forced to place another one. Uh, perhaps I will... Because I think these towers do the same thing, right? 3,000 gigabits per second is the speed. Or no, that's the capacity. Versus 15,000. So... Uh, let me check my stats here. So if I'm looking here... So I'm going to remove... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious about the coverage. Okay, so it looks like this tower <laughs> it hasn't really helped us too much for coverage. I may have to place another one in downtown. Uh... And I'm certainly going to have to place one over here on the outskirts of town. But some areas are okay. Now, I'm curious as to the network quality. Pretty much the same story. Alright. Well, that being said, this tower is not really doing much. So I'm going to remove it altogether and replace it if it'll fit. I'm not even sure if it'll fit. Oh, no, it won't. Um... Hmm, maybe I should have maybe I should have bought a server farm instead. Okay, well, I'm gonna replace this tower. And I got a tower over there too. Wow, okay. I think maybe the the bandwidth is just not able to cope with the amount of people connecting to the internet over here. That might be it. Okay, well I'm definitely going to invest in a server farm next episode, I believe, guys. But over here, oh, I got lots of room to replace this with a big tower. Oh, yeah, and there's upgrades too. Okay, well, here. 
I'm going to place a new tower. New fancy, very tall tower. Let's go back into downtown and check what kind of upgrades we can do. So bandwidth increase. So it increases it by another 1500 gigabits per second and wireless network antenna. An antenna that increases the network coverage. Well, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's apply both of these upgrades to this tower. And I suppose I'll do the same over here. Cause they're not, they're really like, cheap to, uh, to put these upgrades on so uh, has that done a difference oh yeah that has done a massive difference look at that guys perfect and actually this big tower over here has really improved the connection for the folks over here but nonetheless I'm gonna place a radio mast anyways There, so that'll just make sure that the uh, the connection, 5G connections are like as good as they can be for the university campus. Okay, well, so that is telecom. Um, my postal service is not doing so great as well. So I think right now, how many post offices do I have? I got two. Do I have one in Auburn? I do not. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plop a post office in Auburn. And I think a good location for it would be... Yeah, right here by the school, I guess. Hmm. Oh, no, I can't. It doesn't fit. Um, under the bridge, maybe? Oh, yeah, it'll fit right under the bridge. All right. So that's gonna go here. And throughout the city, I'm gonna place a series of mailboxes now. And I know coverage is good in these areas, but I just wanna place a whole bunch of mailboxes everywhere. Just cause it's, it's more or less realistic, right? Like, I don't know. I live in the country just outside of a city and there's just a ton of mailboxes everywhere. Like every other street there's mailboxes. There. So I guess we'll have a main mailbox for this neighborhood and then maybe a couple for this neighborhood. Just like that. And maybe even a second one over here. Oh, and I got none in Mountainside. Mountainside definitely needs a couple of mailboxes. Maybe one on each extremity of the town. And that should do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place a whole bunch over here in... What is this area even called? I didn't even give a name to this whole neighborhood, guys. After I said I would name every neighborhood going forward. I didn't even do that. There. I think that's a pretty fair distribution of mailboxes. And I think I'm going to go ahead and place one over here in the industrial area. Maybe even a second one. You know what? Maybe even a third one right here on the main road. There we go. Oh my god. I'm just... Improving things all around guys. The city is looking so much better now Looks like crime is no longer a big issue. Let's verify that with our Graphs here. Oh wow. Look at that. It's lowered a lot like this building was solid red before and now it's orange So there's slightly less Corruption and uh, insurance fraud going on here at snafu insurance <laughs> All right, well I think I'm gonna call it for this episode, guys. Um, you know what? It was it was a pretty eventful episode, I would say, even though there's not a whole lot that's happened. But uh, I've improved a lot on uh, on different things about the city. Next episode, I might I might want to get into an airport. Oh my god, that just killed my frames. 
And for the airport, I've actually looked into this a little bit. I think the only suitable location for an airport is going to be over here. Just looking at the topography over in this area. There's no hills, no nothing. So anyways, we'll, we'll get into that a bit later. Rent is still high. Uh, but you know what? I think rent is just going to have to be high. You know, people are just going to have to move to lower income areas. I do, again, have some high density residential demand. So maybe I can start plopping down some low rent housing here and there. Uh, but I guess I'll just have to correct that later. Anyways. Oops. Um, yeah, I, as usual, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, if you like my videos, feel free to give them a thumbs up. Also, be sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And with all that being said, take care, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.